working under the dash of your car can be a real pain, especially at my age. Over the years, I've kind of figured out a, a number of ways to make it less painful, and that's what I want to do in this video is just share with you three recommendations of things you can do to make it a little bit easier when you're working under the dash. Now, this past few days, I've been shooting some videos on the blower motor replacements, on cabin filter replacements, and you have to get down under this right side of the dash, under the glove box, and look up in there. And really, ideally, the best way to do that is to work outside the car, you know, kneeling. Well, <laughs> I don't want to be kneeling on the floor, particularly the concrete floor. You know, in the early days, I used to use cardboard carpets. And just recently, I found what I believe is the ideal kneeling creeper. Now, take a look at this. You can get your knees real low on this thing. It's kind of low slung. When with six caster wheels, you can move around. It's very, very comfortable. It allows you to get like, move back when you're trying to lean under or move in forward when you want to roll your shoulder underneath. So I say number one is get yourself a good kneeling creeper. If not a kneeling creeper, at least a really good hard rubber pad so that you can kind of save your knees. Now the next thing right behind that is light. How many of you have tried to get under the dash with a flashlight? Let's say you're going to have a little flashlight like this. You're going to try to put it on the floor and aim it up there. Next thing you know, you're knocking it over and you can't get it aimed just right. So you end up having to use one hand to hold a flashlight when really you need two hands to manipulate the screws or the cover or the motor or the filter or whatever you're working on. So <laughs> once again, I've developed a light. I wanted something that didn't have a cord. So I'm using 12 volt lights. You can see here I'm using my lithium polymer batteries that I use in my model aircraft. And this is just a 12 volt automotive, you know, fog light or, or off-road light has a switch in it. So watch what happens. This is LED. So when I light this thing up and bend it over here, I can light up the whole under dash area. You know, I've got it adjustable here. I can lay it on its side. If you notice what I've done here, I've just taken a big ABS pipe and cut it in half and mounted this on this so I can swivel it around and mount the battery underneath. So whatever type of light you use, get a big enough light that will light up the whole under side of the dash. Having good light can be the, one of the best things when you're working under the dash of your car. The third thing I'm going to recommend is that you get one of these round ratcheting thumb wrenches like this. You might say, well, I can use a screwdriver, I can use a regular ratchet. Well, the problem is you have to end up with most of these under dash repairs holding the panel or holding the, the blower motor with one hand and then work this with the other hand and you've got to put the fastener on the end of this and not fall off. <laughs> well, that's really tough with a screwdriver. Sometimes you're going into recessed holes up under the dash. So what I've learned is this little ratcheting thumb wrench can be really handy to get these little screws started and, and loosen and tighten in place. One of the tricks I use if I'm using these type of either Torx or Phillips bits and I'm working going uphill, okay, I'm going uphill to try to get a screw started, is I'll take a little piece of masking tape like this, maybe just half an inch, and I'm going to put that piece of masking tape on the end of the bit, just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll put the screw and jam it down on that bit. Now look at that. It isn't going to fall off. So this will allow you to get up under the dash and get the, the screw started while holding the part of the component with your other hand. You're on your knees, you're looking uphill. So the combination of a kneeling creeper, a really good light, and this ratchet and this technique for the screws can really save the day.